My content is intended for adult collectors of the product, not made for kids. Hello everyone, welcome to the best of 2021. So this video is gonna be a tournament where I select eight bays from Takira Tomi and eight bays from Hasbro. We're gonna be doing a little tournament and then after at the end we say we see what is the best of 2021. Now in this I did do a whole voting thing and during the segment where I talk about why I picked the choices, uh, we will uh, probably have a picture of the vote. But uh, to keep things nice and everything, you know, talk to the viewers. What was your favorite release of 2021? And what are you looking forward to for 2022? Uh, for 2022, our channel goals will be simple, especially since with the state of burst, how it's going to be going through. Going to be trying to do a lot more highly edited content. Maybe not upload as much because I have to focus on that. And really just try to get past 600k. That's really my main goal because uh, YouTube likes... Uh, <laughs> YouTube likes uh, to punish a lot of creators, so that's a pretty simple goal. Uh, you can put your goal for 2022 if you're all right with it. And yeah, we're going to go with the TT, what, what I picked and why. I'll, I'll be very brief in everything. Uh, Ultimate, I think, overall was a very solid release, especially for right spin attack, and I do think it was very effective and gave us really good parts. Basically just 9, Ultimate, and uh, the Core. Uh, Guilty was an amazing hard-hitting attack type. Even if you want to say Rage had uses for this, that, or this, I still love using Guilty a lot, and I definitely think they did a good job. And pretty much the same can be said for Bahamut. Basically, the evolutions for all of them is just they, they offer so much, or they do a great job with what they're able to do in that meta that I really like it. And Raphael is going to get this spot because the lair... Uh, is really cool with the gimmick and everything and it gave us high extend plus dash so i think for the best of it would make no sense to not include greatest so yeah there you go and you can probably see the polling and everything uh hasbro this was a lot more difficult because hasbro simply has had such a poor year <laughs> to define the best of i was basically screwed right because all the options that were really high voted were really just pro series and i want to be fair because Objectively, the Surge stuff was really garbage, and Cutie is not making it at all, so it's basically mostly Pro, and I did exclude Pro from before because of the teeth wear, but the thing is, is that if I exclude basically all the ones that do have teeth wear, like Soul, Judgment, Zvi, etc., I'm not, I'm not throwing up Surge on there because Surge is <laughs> No, yeah, but that's kind of it. I mean, yeah, we're going to see what works out, and here, here's how it's going to work for the stadiums. For our first stadium, we're going to start off with the Takara Tomi. All of it is going to be in the DB Arena. And then after for the Hasbros, all of it's going to be in the Pro Series Arena. And then after in the final arena between the one-on-one, -on -one, it will be in a cage match style. And the points uh, for everything uh, that's normal before the finals is just going to be two points. Then after... When we get to finals uh, for each of their sections, you know, the finals for TT and the finals uh, for Hasbro, that'll be three points. So two points first stage, the finals for each of the separate brackets, three points, the final finals, uh, five points. And before we continue, a huge shout out to our channel members, Taylor Adams, Bell Daikuten Official, uh, Beyblader, SD Seb, Beatbox, Iga, Brandtastic, Xavier, Chris, uh, Adlon, uh, So. So a huge thank you to all of our channel members for supporting the channel. It is an optional way to support the channel. And very much do uh, thank anyone who was a member uh, this year or anyone who was just subscribed normally and uh, showed the video some loves. It goes a long way and I do appreciate it quite a bit. With that being said, we're gonna get started with the tournament. So I have nothing good to say. So it's got to have a, a clear KO. If it doesn't have a clear KO, then I, I can't just, like, take that. You know.
I will take that. Okay, now we're tied. Actually left. You know, it's kind of funny because I just realized, but uh, both, like aside from obviously the around disc, uh, their stocks are really bad. It'll probably go to Lord. Is this a strategy or is uh, this stupidity? Let's uh, let's find out in the next two seconds. Alrighty, and it is stupidity. So you just got generate. All right, master is done. Lord Spryzen moves on. Next up is command versus Hydra. It's got the easiest drop. So this is on the pro stadium if it can't pull it off because it's just got to hit it a f literally like a f like two good hits. Why do we get so angry if it doesn't? Okay, next up we have Triumph versus uh, Zvi. Now this one will be pretty interesting because uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, so I decided to keep now Lord and Right Spin. Wow, that is, is this gonna be the end of judgment just like that? Oh my God. Come back. Judgment, what are you doing? Don't do this, don't, don't make this your last round. Wow, humiliated. I'm gonna do a third round just for the sake of judgment. Okay, wow, so it just gets murdered by right lord. Okay. So we're gonna do command versus Vi. Vi will still be in its stamina mode just cause uh, it's gonna, if it doesn't. Okay, first round does Vi. Okay, second, no, okay, no. <laughs> we'll redo it. Oh, that was a redo for nothing. All right, now we're tied, so make it count. All right, I think that's pretty good. We're gonna be ending off to decide who's the best between Lord versus Vi. I kind of thought this would go to this path, but... Uh... Okay, first point is Vi. I can't award swag points uh, to Lord, otherwise I would probably give it that because it just rode on the side of the stadium and came back. Goodbye again because of stamina. Lord. Two, one. So Lord can still make a comeback. I was gonna say no, but it came back. So yeah, I guess that goes to Lord. I was about to say no, that round doesn't count. But then, but then it came back, so. Okay, that round obviously no. Well, poor guy. <laughs> Couldn't. Well, so Zvi really did it. 
uh, impressive. This is uh, this is how the clash ends. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I'd much rather this because same as pen, it's gonna it would be worse for it. So, I guess this means that Zvi Longinus, aka Zvi Lunor, lame name, uh, advances with Lord being eliminated. So my thoughts on this is that uh, not too surprising. I did either think it was Lord or it was gonna be Zvi. So, hey man, I'll take what I can get, I guess. So that means that Zvi will be going up against the best from Dynamite Battle, which is going to be very funny because uh, it's not uh, it's not really going to be too fun for it. But uh, who knows, man? Who knows? Okay, we're going to get started with the TT section. So it's Raphael uh, versus Ragnarok. So this will be interesting. I suspect that Ragnarok will give a good fight because it adds good stamina. Raphael uh, with Ober and Hikes and plus that will probably win. So I I'm curious now. It's gotta, it's gotta give a good fight, man. It's gotta give a good fight. So the halo is starting to come up, which is pretty good, but no. Uh... Okay, Ragnarok's dead. Okay, that guilty versus Astral. So we're gonna see between these two who wins. Okay, that's. Let's give it benefit right now. Let's give it benefit of the doubt. We're gonna, so it's basically one because it's pushed it out twice. Fairly mad. So if it wins also because of stamina here, then it just means that Astral was uh, able to be guilty. Yeah, well, okay, so it would just be guilty no matter what. Yeah, because the left side would just die right away because of a burst, so. Oh. I didn't expect that. Well, is it going to do anything, or is it still going to lose? Because if it still loses, then Vanish is just better than Roar. Oh no, never mind. Okay, it's 1-0 with Roar. Very close at the end. The Vanish has gained back its balance. Roar is done. Next up, it is Ultimate versus Phoenix. The armor is gone. Can it do anything else to it? Or will it fail miserably? And it fails. Oh, it's going around. No, 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 it can make it. It can make it. It can redeem itself. It can finally do it. You gotta beat Phoenix. No, oh God. Okay, now we're gonna be moving on. So it's gonna be Raphael versus Spurgeon.
Now I left spring in right and not in left because if I put it in left it would be unfair to it because it would just get bodied. So this way it's fair. Plus Raphael still has a chance to burst it so it's not all bad. Okay, the halo is up. Is it gonna be enough? Is it gonna be enough to gain its point to tie? And it is not. Spriggan advances once again, eliminating greatest Raphael, who made it this far, yet still lost. Oh, and I guess that meant nothing because uh, it still came off. Well, this is going to be an interesting turn of events, you know. No one has a lot less going for it right now. Does it somehow manage to win? Okay, now last ditch effort to save the Phoenix in this second round. We're gonna see if this works. And I, I think that was still Vanish, actually. Let me verify this. Was it? Now for the finals, it's going to be Vanish versus Astral, and we're going to see because uh, Astral is now going to be in left. It should do good either way because uh, over in its stamina. Yeah, okay, first round goes to Astral. Second round against Astral. So it's one nothing so far, so it just has to get another point. Then it's two, and then it's three. So it's one one. Well, they're both tied right now. The left side of Hastral helps it again, getting the point to 2-1. It needs one more point for victory. Anyways, I prefer it this way because uh, if I did right Astral, basically, it would like not be fun. It would just be equalizing and it probably would win very easily equalizing, so probably went with left. And it wins, all right. Now for the final battle, we're going to see between uh, Zvi and Astral, who wins this one. And we'll put Zvi in attack that way, because it's not going to win the stamina, and we'll see. I don't know. It could burst Astral. Or it burst Astral. So already 2-0. Already looking really good. It's 2-0 and it's not going as good as I thought it would. 
Well, now it's 3 0 because it just lost again. Now it's 3 2. It's 3 2. It's 4 2. So it just needs one more point to win. Let's see if it will get it. And it does with flying colors. So our winner for the best of 2021 is the one and only Astral Spriggan. No, it wins. It wins for the best release. Is it actually the best release? Not really, but it won the tournament for the best. So, I guess. You know, that's really it then. Wow, so the brackets were pretty interesting for how it developed. Uh, yeah, no, let me know your thoughts in the comments. This was a lot of fun. Uh, here's to a good year for 2022. Can't wait to try out a lot of stuff. Uh, do the best that we can with our content. And thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day.